So Amy Klobuchar, she dropped out of the uh, vice president race. So, you know, people are wondering who Joe Biden is going to pick as his vice president. Is it Kamala Harris? Is it Stacey Abrams? I don't think so. <laughs> we covered that. Uh, is it going to be Elizabeth Warren? Is it going to be Amy Klobuchar? Because, you know, he, he committed to picking a woman for his vice president. And she dropped out. She dropped out. Let, let me just show you the statement that she made on television, and then I want to dissect this properly. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> yeah, here, here's the video. So let me play that to you. Okay, so let me dissect this for you. Let me translate from the politician bullshit into plain English. Uh, Amy Klobuchar fucked up. When she was district attorney in Minneapolis, she decided not to prosecute Derek Chauvin, the guy who killed George Floyd, on multiple complaints, a few dozen complaints, including one where he actually shot a Native American man. The guy survived, but nonetheless. Um, so she fucked up. And if Biden were to pick her as vice president, people would, would riot. I mean, they would, they would not accept it. It's just, it's not going to work. This George Floyd thing, the murder, when they killed him, it killed her uh, vice president chances, okay? <laughs> and what she's doing is she's, try she's trying to get in front of the announcement, right? So she's trying to come out and be like, oh, I'm super woke and, you know, I'm so humble, and, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to sacrifice my, my own ego and, you know, give it to a woman of color. Amy Klobuchar don't give a fuck about people of color. If she did, she would have prosecuted these pigs who ended up murdering George Floyd. She, she don't give a fuck, okay? Now, now what, what's, what's quite funny is that she's kneecapped Elizabeth Warren. You know, she's essentially said, like, Biden, I really think, uh, should pick a woman of color, and uh, I'm so humble, and, uh, you know, I'm just gonna uh, get the fuck out of here because uh, I don't want any media attention and focus on me because I, I, you know, I let murderers go back on the street with their fucking badges and guns because I'm a piece of shit. Remember, I told you, the corruption, the white supremacy, the American exceptionalism, all of this shit, the, the entire, you know, <laughs> cauldron... It's not just the cops on the streets. It's bitches like her who are protecting them. When you have corrupt DAs, just district attorneys, you have corrupt chiefs of police, when you have corrupt governors, this is the shit you get. They protect each other. So it's at all levels of the government. Do you understand? And so what she's trying to do is uh, get away from all this media attention. She, does, she doesn't want any focus on her. But I think it's quite funny she kneecapped Elizabeth Warren. Because now it's going to be very, very awkward. I don't think he's going to pick Warren, man. I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a shit? Honestly. Does anyone care? Does anyone care? Biden and his entire campaign is like <laughs> a burning car just rolling down the street. Who, who cares who the vice president is? Even if he picked Bernie Sanders, who cares? It doesn't mean anything. It would probably just be some symbolic nonsense. Okay? Now, if he picked Dick Cheney, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. If you pick Dick Cheney as your VP, he's the president, not you. <laughs> but other than that, no, get, get the hell out of here, man. 
she's so so repulsive and 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 just ah the only the only thing that i will ever give amy klobuchar credit for is that she was an honest right winger i used to say honest centrist but she's a right winger you know she would plainly say no i don't support medicare for all and she would say no i don't support free college she's a fucking moron she's a corrupt bitch because she takes money from big pharma but nonetheless at least she's honest you know she's not trying to uh do little zigzags like uh pete Buttigieg juggalo or whatever that's the only thing I'll give her credit for. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't support me- Medicare for all? Okay, next. <laughs> we don't have to worry about you. No thanks. Again, I I really don't 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 care who who Joe Biden picks as vice president. I mean, even if uh, even if he picked Barack Obama <laughs> as vice president, God, he might he, he can win. He could win. Shit. Do you do you think he could win? Oh shit. Yeah, that might be. Oof. No, nah, you're not. God, it's it's so it's so horrible seeing these neoliberals just trying to ram more neoliberal shit down people's throats. Like they they are the reason they these are the architects of the disasters, not just in America but around the entire globe, right? They they swept, they sanctioned wars, they sanctioned oppression domestically and abroad. And they they got you Trump. And now they're thinking like, "Oh, well, to get rid of Trump, you need to have more neoliberalism." Oh my god. Oh my god. That's like, that's like saying to get rid of cancer, you need to smoke some more cigarettes. Lung, uh, you know, to get rid of lung cancer. Fuck you. <laughs> Man, I'm done. I have no patience for these corrupt merchants of oppression. Fuck them. Seriously. It's outrageous. This bitch, I can't believe she shows her fucking face. She is literally fucking responsible. She is directly fucking responsible for the death of George Floyd. Okay. She is directly responsible for the de- for the brutalization. All these other complaints, these dozens of complaints. She she did nothing. She didn't do her fucking job. She's a corrupt bitch. She let this motherfucking uh, murderer, this pig, go back on the street and kill George Floyd. That could have been averted if she did her fucking job. But she's corrupt because the corruption goes through all levels of government. What a fucked up situation, man. 